Folks, welcome to another edition of my video blog. Today's topic of discussion concerns the crime of theft of services. Now, let's take for example, you go to your local auto mechanic. He fixes your car. You don't like the job that he did, so you drive off without paying. Now, some people may think that that's not a crime, that you're entitled to do that. However, the crime is in fact theft of services, and it's a serious crime. Again, it's a class E misdemeanor. It's the least serious of all crimes, but having a criminal conviction on your record is serious, and you should be treating this charge seriously. There may be circumstances as to why you didn't pay for the service. Perhaps the person providing the service didn't do what they were supposed to do, or perhaps they did a poor job. And while these may not be technically proper legal defenses, they are extenuating circumstances that could explain your position to the DA with the help of a qualified criminal defense attorney. And again, always keep in mind that just because you've been charged with a crime, such as a crime of theft, doesn't mean that you'll end up with a conviction. Now, I'll be talking about this in every video concerning these cases, but if you are ever charged with a third offense of a theft-related crime within a 10-year period, there is the potential that it could be charged as a felony. So if you have two minor thefts in your background, perhaps you have two shoplifting charges in your background, and then you get hit with a, with a misdemeanor theft of services, that misdemeanor theft of services could be boosted up to a felony offense. So it's very important to always keep that criminal record clean. And if you have encountered law enforcement and you think you're gonna be charged with a crime, don't say anything, ask to speak with an attorney, and after your encounter with law enforcement, pick up the phone, call my office. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Thank you.